Hey, it's Pat. And Carolyn. Look, Carolyn's in New York. We're making a vlog making in person. Making a vlog in person. So excited. I'm here to visit. Pleasure it's to have so you. So nice. Pleasure to be here. Mm-hmm. It's so sad when we're not together. I know. But we are together tonight talking about tonight's episode of America's Next Top Model, where the girls were on fire. Weird. Weird. Cool. Weird. I can't decide if I think it's cool or weird. I'm surprised. I think I may have said this before, but I'm surprised it has taken them... All the way 16 cycles to get the idea to light them on fire. You know, it's been everything else like bees and snakes and tarantulas and mermaids and underwater and fire. And now fire. So they didn't, they weren't actually set on fire, but the girls walked on a runway that had fire coming out of the sides and then they had little gloves that were lit on fire and they walked out and they put their hands on the fire and then they walked like this. It with seemed fire. a little dangerous. It did. But it was also anticlimactic. You sort of felt like it was something bigger was going to happen. Yeah, nobody caught on fire, so it was a little disappointing. Yeah. Um, and I really feel like we haven't got to see the girls walk at all. I know this was a runway, mm. but you can't really judge their walks when they're, like, balancing fire in their hands. You could tell who was good and who was Like, okay, True. so clearly... You couldn't tell who was great and who wasn't great, though. Who... Oh, I thought, like, Kasha, I thought was so sucky at walking. Don't you remember? This Kasha. Well, yeah, yeah, but I really like her. But. And, like, Alexandria and Brittany were great walkers. Yeah. And the... Dahlia. Dahlia. Mm-hmm. The flower. I almost said Dahlia, and the flower. Lama. She was good. All yeah. right. The, she, da, there was three... Brittany and Alexandria and Dahlia were the three best at the challenge, and the winner was Dahlia, so yeah. she got to keep two dresses from the designer. Congratulations. Congratulations. So they they didn't actually have a photo shoot this week. They had a commercial, right. which was interesting because it wasn't a CoverGirl commercial. It was a commercial for some fake ass ANTM product, which I, is such a bummer. I did like the like fifty style; that was cool. And I don't think they've done that really. Yeah, they did like a mad. I think it's the sixties technically, but it's Mad Men back in time thing, um, yeah. like a Mad Men thing. I thought all of the girls looked beautiful in their costumes and their makeup. I just thought they looked so pretty. I thought Hannah looked really good. Kasha looked really good. Mm-hmm. I, thought, I actually hated Alexandria's hair in that. I thought it was With a little, little promy. Yeah, a little pro- Oh, I like that. A little promy. Um, but good. at least they got rid of Molly's crazy weave for like two seconds. Yeah, but then they gave her a wig. Her, and it looks horrible. It looks like she's wearing the hair from a mermaid costume for Halloween. Like, what are they doing to Molly? Yeah, she looked, and she doesn't look as good, and she looked a little haggard. But... Yes. Um, but I mean, it was a tough thing. Like talk, let's talk about some of the girls performances. So they had to do coffee and they had to be like sexy secretaries when they were doing it. I think Monique sounded mm. like Paris Hilton. She kind of looked like her, her to be too. Like, coffee. That's hot. Like I was wait, like I, I was waiting for her to say that's hot. Yeah. She, she, she looked fine, mm. but whatever. I thought Dahlia was very stiff. Yeah. They gave her some criticism Can for that, that too. Yeah. <gasps> Brittany. Who I really like did not look good. She's just a she little. She looked good, but she. I mean, she looks good. I'm sorry, you're right. Yeah, yeah. She just didn't do a good job. Yeah, they told what they they said. You're more than just a head. You have to like do stuff too, they're which I thought was good advice. And that's what's annoying me. Yeah, I. Agree. I mean, I say this every time, but they're making them do stuff that models. I mean, I guess some models. Certain models, do. but they, Tyra always wants them to be like high fashion. Yeah. And not commercial, but then they make them do commercials. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know. It's a it's a little contradictory. But. I don't think it's the yeah. The um, let's talk before we get to panel. Okay, so it was a fun idea. Whatever. Um, I think I love Alexandria. Like I love her as a villain. I love her as a character more and more every week. This week she kind of looked like this. Is how I was describing her during her interviews. She looked like a character from Gossip Girl's aunt who drinks a lot of wine. I think that would best describe her. She was like she does. Like I just wanted her to do a good job on set. And then she I was waiting for her to be like... Yeah, bah, she's bah, kind bah, of... Bah. I don't even know how to describe the way that she acts. It's just, she always does MySpace face also. She always goes like... Oh, MySpace. My, and then you hold the camera really up high. Go... Right? Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Um, Kasha was awesome. We haven't even talked about Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Carolyn's y'all. twin, Jacqueline. She does her hair looks kind of like mine. Mm-hmm. And she talks like this, she, y'all. I got a fake booty. I got a fake booty. Look at me a booty. But I can still do stripper moves. She's not. <laughs> she totally knows what she's doing. Yeah. She's Her voice is annoying, but she's cute. Yeah, she's she does look like she's my cousin right. or something. She, her a little prettier than me. Her face looks so heavy, though. I feel like she has... She always has, like, water in her mouth. I think that's because people with curly hair's faces look fatter. I can't argue with that, no. <laughs> look, my head looks so much bigger than yours. It's true. It must be the hair. I have a celebrity head. <laughs> you know how they say, any, 
I digress. Celebrities have big heads. Um, right. Literally. Uh, not ego size. Um, so when it came time for panel and they evaluated everybody, Kasha was called out first. Yeah, that obviously. Was cool. Yeah, Good Tyra. Tyra said what it was one of her favorite top model moments ever was yeah. her commercial. So that was awesome. That was weird. Um, a lot of the other girls got called. Hannah got called second. Then a bunch of other girls. The bottom two were Alexandria, the evil biatch, and Sarah. Who, I mean, we didn't even yeah, have to say this, yeah. but clearly from the first two seconds of the episode, Sarah. <laughs> It's either one way or the other in the beginning. I mean, either either they they lose or they get redemption. And it was losing time for Sarah. Yeah. Uh, She was very annoying this episode also. Like, I mean, I'm not a big Sarah fan, but I just found her really annoying. Just yawned. So boring, in fact, she causes instant yawning when you speak of her. She's boring, but, you know, she's also, I don't know. I mean, Tyra loves her. I I think she could be a model. I just think it'd be a really specific type of model. A feminist model at FemCon? Yeah, I, she just kept saying that. And I'm going to be, yeah, I'd never heard FemCon. Is that what she said? Yeah, I think it's like Comic-Con, but for feminists. I don't know what that means, but I don't know, but awesome. she's going to have a lot of free time to spend at, com- at FemCon. Yes. Or Comic-Con, whatever she's whatever into. She's, she's probably in. like that, too. This is kind um, of a boring episode, I'm not going to lie. You it's know, just disappointing. It's a, it's, I think maybe because the girls are all kind of good, and it's they're not doing, I don't know, I don't know. Also, we analyze it a lot. It kind of sucks the fun out of it. But we like making these videos for you. Um, So if you want to see some stills from the fire runway or if you want to see some stills from their commercial, which the girls look beautiful, you can click the link down here in the description or go to blogaboutthings.com and uh, you can tell us what you thought of the episode. Who do you think is going to be America's Next Top Model, Carolyn? Brittany. Brittany? Yeah, I like her. I agree also. Do you? I actually do. Yep. Okay. Brittany. Well, there we go. Okay. Well, we're not going to be back together for a while, which is going to be a bummer. I, I do, serious moment, I do want to, we have some people that do watch from Japan, and so we want to, we've been, I, I have to tell you, I've been glued to the news, and I have cried multiple times watching what's going on over there, so if you're watching, which um, we hope you're safe and sound, and yes. we hope your families are too, but we've been thinking a lot about Japan, and uh, Patrick had a trip planned there, you know, and it's coming up, which he had to cancel, yeah. but I'm sure he's going to go back there, and I hope I get to come come visit too so looking forward to it stay so, safe yep and, and we'll see you next week soon via skype bye okay, bye